Exactly, exactly. And and so something I recently got into is building a second brain, you know, Tiago Forte. Yeah, yeah, I so I've heard I heard about him a while back and I was like, Oh, this is an interesting concept, but I just didn't really it didn't I didn't feel it didn't feel necessary for me. And now that I'm doing the newsletter, I went back to some of his, you know, um interviews and stuff and I was like, Oh, this is actually this is useful, you know, like instead of sitting down in one instant to write the newsletter you're collecting ideas all the time and then they just evaporate so now if you have a second brain and you know okay i have this project that i'm working on or an upcoming project that i'm thinking about then you just add snippets so if i see okay for example my newsletter i like uh how some people do their photo so i like take a screenshot and i'll add it to like a note about my newsletter and now when I sit down to do it, I'm like, okay, I remember this. I'm going to try and create one like this and, and just collecting little bits and pieces together. And, and then the day that you sit to write it, then you, you're not starting from scratch. And I really like that. So that's something I've now started to incorporate. That's so cool. And I'm so glad you brought up the second brain um, because it's, it's a concept I'm like just, just exploring and sort of learning about, but maybe for people that are sort of listening, like, can you explain like, how, like what a second brain is and, and how you're thinking about it and using it? Yeah, so a second brain is a note-taking system and it's essentially allowing you to document all of the ideas and in pieces of bits and pieces of inspiration that you you come across, you know, just while living and putting them together in a system that you can easily search and draw upon when you want to sit down and write or create a video mm -hmm. or just create in general. Very cool. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, if we can even get more granular with that, um, what, like, what are you, are you using Notion or are you using, like, what are the, what are the tools that you're playing with? So I've been using Evernote for a while, just for random note taking, not for, you know, the second brain concept. And um, I like Evernote, but then when I was when I went back to the second brain lectures and stuff, I heard about Obsidian and I heard about it a while back mm. as well. And someone had described it really nicely um, about being able to to connect different notes and stuff. And and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna try Obsidian, and so that's what I've been using now for like a week only. But I've also used okay. um, Evernote, and so I like both. So if Obsidian didn't work then I would go back to Evernote. Very cool. Yeah, I've heard good things about Obsidian, but haven't really played with it too much. Yeah, um, yeah no, I think it looks, it's really good. Yeah, really cool. Um, well, this has been been super fun. Where can people learn more about you and follow your background and your journey and, and all the cool stuff that you're, you're working on? Yeah, so you can find me on Twitter at Justine Cloud Dev, um, TikTok, my handle is Justine Lee, I believe, J-U-S-T-I-N-E-E-L-E-I-G-H. And then <clears throat> my newsletter you could find on my website uh, at justinelee.com. And yeah, uh, I hang out mostly on Twitter these uh, usually. So, you know, I'll, I'll be doing spaces again and, and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that's where you can find me. Awesome. And we'll link all that in the show notes. But thank you so much. This has been This has been awesome. Okay, thank you so much, Mike. It was really good to chat with you. Very much.